Hello and welcome to the Healing Stream Reflection in this season of Father's Day. The title for today's post is Walking in the Way of a Father. Beloved, being a father is an awesome responsibility because the way of the father goes the way of fatherhood and goes the way the fatherhood operates in any country. That's the way the quality and the morality, social ills, health, and finances in the country or nations is going to go. The way that lead their family is the way that nation is going to go. As more than 43% of the children of today live in a home without a dad. In most cases, dads are incarcerated. Imagine the kind of impact that impact that's making in the life of our nation. And if a young man grows up in a home without a father, his chances of going to jail is twice that of a son who grows up in a family with a father. Since being a father is a real responsibility and affects the whole nation, knowing that many men are walking around who are families and they are not living with them anymore for whatever reason the church must have back on an educational drive for fathers to become fathers and take the responsibility that's theirs when they become a father This reminds me of and about the kings in the Old Testament. There's not a lot of difference of what was going on then than what's going on today for the simple reason they will come and go and some were good and some were evil and so forth. For instance, in 2 Kings 21, 11, it says, Manasseh, king of Judah, has done these abominations, having done wickedly more than all the Amorites, they who were before him, and has also made Judah sin with his idols. Verse 12, Therefore, Thus says the Lord God of Israel, Behold, I am bringing said calamity upon Jerusalem and Judah, that whoever hears of it, both his ears will tingle. Which is an extreme way of saying it's going to be terrible. Friends, just as the saying goes, like Father like Sam. Verse 18 of 2 Kings 21 tells us Manasseh died and was buried in the garden of his own house, in the garden of Uzzah, and Ammon, his son, became king in his place. Now watch this. His father Manasseh lived a horrible life, and here is his son, Ammon, who was 22 years in Jerusalem. And he did evil in the sight of the Lord. As Manasseh, his father, had done. Second Kings 21, verse 19 to 20. Therefore he walked in all that his father had served and worshipped them. So he forsook the Lord, the God of his fathers, and did not walk in the ways of the Lord. Verse 21 to 22. 
And of course, what happens here is the servants kill him. And then Josiah, who is only eight years old of age, becomes the king. And Josiah was one of the greatest kings in all the Old Testament, verses 23 to 24. Beloved, the lesson I want you to notice, especially fathers, in this season of father's celebration, is that just as Ammon walked in the way that his father walked, that's what a lot of young men wants to do. They admire their father. Father may be good or evil, but there's something about the boy who wants to be like his dad. Therefore, when a son walks in the way of the father, which is sort of the way it happens, then every father has an awesome responsibility to be an example. An example that is good. Example to his children. I pray that more than likely, since children are going to attempt, at least to begin with, to walk in your future fathers, it's very important for dads to look behind them and see what's happening in the life of your family and your children. May this Father's Day remind all dads of their awesome responsibility to have a strong desire to discover and fulfill God's will for their life and their family as well as the desire to have their children to follow in daddy's Christian footsteps for the children to be saved early in life even walking in a way that is obedient to God and also make you proud as a father. May the Holy Spirit use all, all Christian dads or Christian fathers and Christian husbands as treasured earthen vessels to give their children guidance and direction of what they are going to do for the rest of their life. I pray that your children follow your footsteps as faith keepers and be the head and not the tail. May God Richly bless you and bye for now.